If you want to record phone calls on Google Pixel 10 Pro XL, first of all, you can check if you have the option available during a call. In some countries and regions, it is actually possible to record phone call with the feature that we have built within the phone. And you don't have to do much, you just have to simply find the recording option, which might be hidden in the more section, and then you can start try, well, you can try to start it and uh, start recording the phone call just like that. However, in many countries, uh, this feature is actually not available by default. And in this case, if you want to record phone calls on this phone, you need to have a third party app that allows you to record those uh, phone calls. So in that case, we want to open the Play Store and we can simply search for an app uh, for a call recorder. So we're gonna simply search for call recorder over here. And then as you can see, we can find a bunch of different apps uh, that uh, technically should provide this feature. And in my case, I'm gonna use this app over here, Call Recorder Cube ACR. I'm gonna show you how to set this one up and more or less how it works. However, feel free to try any other app in case this one doesn't work for you well. So once you install the Call Recorder, we can open it. Now we're gonna choose next. We need to, of course, grant permissions for the app. There we go. Next, we can disable power optimization if you want to. So we're gonna tap OK and then choose allow. We didn't have to agree to geotagging over here and then press OK, got it. We can close this premium offer twice by tapping on next in the top left corner. And then we have the helper, which is additional app and that is used in order to make sure that the main app is actually working properly. So in this case, we're gonna choose install helper and uh, you most likely will open your default browser. And uh, in this case, we will open this page. So we're gonna just download the APK file. We're gonna then decide that we want to do that. We can tap download anyway, and then let's open the downloaded app. Now, of course, we need to go to settings in order to allow the browser to install unknown apps. And then we want to confirm that we want to install the app and let's open it afterwards. And we need to set this one up as well. So we need to grant permissions again. There we go. Now we need to choose accessibility. We need to tap on app connector over here to display this information. This is actually crucial to show this information and then we can close it and go back. Then we're gonna choose go to apps. Over here we're gonna find the uh, helper. Now we want to go to uh, these three dots in the top right corner and we want to allow restricted settings. Enter the screen lock password and we're gonna go back. And then go back to accessibility and now we can turn on the app connector and we need to allow. Now we're gonna press OK, allow, and now we can open the main app. And the main app is pretty much set up right now. We can tap on these three lines in the top left corner, make sure that recording is enabled. We can also go through settings. For example, we can go to recording settings in order to, for example, make sure that auto start is actually enabled. And now when you uh, start a call, the app should automatically start recording the call as well. All right, so I just called myself and if I go to notifications, you will see that the app is actually running in the background. The app will automatically start recording phone calls for you and then you should be able to find them, for example, by opening the main app. You should be able to have it over here. Of course, you can still play back uh, the recording if you want to. You can tap on these three dots on the right side in order to choose what you want to do with them. And uh, in addition to that, uh, if you have some issues with the recording, uh, let's say that the other person, uh, you cannot really hear what the other person is saying during the call, if you play back the recording, then most likely you need to actually use the loudspeaker to be able to make proper recordings so that you can actually hear the other person, not just yourself. But of course, uh, after all, this might still work just fine, even without using the loudspeaker. But just in case, of course, I have to mention that. And that is pretty much it. Remember that we have some additional options over here that you can go through in order to set up the app in, in case you need that. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe.